We're live. Welcome to the WAN Show, ladies and gentlemen. The show that didn't start on time because I was busy starting my other thing late. But I, I'm also quite impressed at how not late it is. I was expecting starting at like 545. <laughs> I went upstairs and started to work. I'm not really. I was like, all right, let's settle in for the winter. Let's, let's, oh, let's. man. Uh. <sighs> but video sounded good. Stream sounded good. Yeah, Whatever no, I think I thought it was a good stream. So we were, um, so Asus made an overclocked, well, not overclocked, but it has like a, a binned version of the Snapdragon 855 phone. And <laughs> stupid BIOS update again. Postpone. Uh, check oh. this thing out. Okay. This is like a phone. It's big. A, a, a thick boy phone for thick boys. Yeah, that's like, that takes a bit to reach to the top. 6,000 milliamp hour battery. Wow. Check out the smoothness of the screen, though. It's heavy. Oh, it's nice. I noticed that right away. What refresh rate do you think it's running? Oh, boy. He doesn't follow this stuff, so it's no. like I can, I, I can actually like quiz him on 120? things. 120? Yeah. Ooh. 120 OLED. I genuinely didn't know at all. Just because, <laughs> yeah, I don't follow it. It's pretty, like, oh man, look at that, the low persistence, too. That is really nice. Like, ah, so cool. I just have a hard time getting excited about phones. Speaking of things to be excited about, I'm kind of back into VR. Yeah. Okay, sorry, hold on. Give me. We'll talk about that later. First, I should yeah. probably go through what our topics are for right. today. So I'm going to talk about being back into VR. Apple's autonomous car was spotted. A lot of uh, speculation as to what exactly is going on with the sensor arrays and all that kind of cool stuff on it. There's a couple of folding phones launching in September. Apple um, and Google are going to potentially hand over Gunscope app user data, including like IP address and full names and lots of other stuff. And you can pay with your whole hand at Whole Foods. See what I did there? Your whole, get it? Because it takes a, it's not just a fingerprint, it's like the whole thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Agent 3105? says, I just realized I haven't seen Luke on the main YouTube channel in a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right, agent. Um, I think you better find a new career. Is that like a slowpoke meme? Is that slowpoke meme worthy? Because a agent... Uh, it's been like three years. <laughs> yeah. I think agent is probably the wrong path for you. <laughs> <laughs> no investigation in your future. With that said, actually, uh, oh man, see, I've got so much stuff to talk about this week that isn't like the news Oh, we're topics. doing a thing. Yeah, well, okay, we'll, we'll talk about it later. Let's okay. get, get through Sorry. this Apple thing because right. that's in the, the title. title topic. Yes, yes, title topic. Give Good. the people what they want. I'm not yeah. eating today. Actually, wait, is Savage Jerky a sponsor today? Uh, Do people not like that or something? They get mad when I eat on stream because some people, apparently it's like, Something, something phonia, like they, like it actually causes them physical pain to hear other people eating. I'm just glad they never had okay, to sit at- Oh, well, because this mic picks up everything. I'm just glad they never had to sit at a breakfast table with my dad. Oh. Because, uh, or I should clarify, my stepdad, so that you know okay. what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, the way that that man eats cereal, <laughs> it's disgusting. Like it's un it's unwatchable, it's unlisten toable. He's like he's one he can't he actually can't close his mouth to chew because he needs it open to shovel the next <laughs> bite in. So it's like oh god, you probably like just you it, probably just did it right it's there. It's basically a food mashing machine that just kind of as far I don't even know if he swallows. Like I think he, <laughs> I think he just drizzles the it the just cereal and then the cereal down. scum back back yeah. down his throat and yeah. then processes yeah. it in his innards. Auto um, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Nick walks up, scratches his head and just leaves. It's, like it, it's a it's a bad time. Um anyway, so I'm I'm trying I'm going to try not oh, to eat man. on the street. Honestly, guys, I was just really hungry last week. I'm so sorry. I didn't have time to eat. I actually didn't have time to eat today because Fridays have been stupid over the last little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I will try and do better. So, Apple's autonomous car spotted. The original article here is from 925Mac.com. And this is a, a pretty interesting car because there is a possibility based on, you know, the, 
the pixels or whatever, um, that we are looking at an all camera setup with no LiDAR whatsoever. So for those not familiar with the term, LiDAR is a technology that uses lasers to create what is essentially like a, uh, a point map of the entire environment around the vehicle um, that tells it really everything about the 3D space around it and can even allow, in with Google's technology, um, the reading of things like um, cyclists' hand signals. Um, I forget whether it was Google or someone else's LiDAR tech, but they were able to tell the actual orientation of people standing on the side of the street. So not like which way they swing, but more which way their body is likely ah. to drift because you can tell right. which way they're facing. That's probably a lot easier to do. Yeah. Yeah. With yeah. that said, I think with some people it's fairly obvious. That's fair. Because they like want you to know. Right. You know. But the, the accuracy percentage still wouldn't be that high. Yep. Uh, well, I mean, there was that friend that I had in high school that was uh, basically, I didn't realize I had been invited out to a date. Uh, I thought we were just uh, like hanging out and going to a movie. And then his mom was there. And I was like, oh, okay, that makes more sense now. <laughs> and um, afterward... I, well, I like of, how the realization is just, oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. that was fine. Like, we, we were now. still friends after and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. It's yeah, just yeah. like, a afterward, um, we had this conversation, like, this is like months later, um, that went something along the lines of, like, like sorry, uh, I'm, I'm like, not. Um, and he's like, well, when you're ready to admit it to yourself, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's like, what does that even mean? I don't know. That's a little aggro. That's like, <laughs> like he's attacking you, in, but like not even. He's yeah, attacking I mean, you in a like you don't look, know yourself. Way. I think it's not that you don't know yourself. I think it's like you know at that because remember we're like I don't know seventeen or sixteen or whatever at this sure. point. Probably not even no probably not seventeen because like neither of us would have had our his mom came end with him when he was seventeen yeah. to the yeah movies? yeah wouldn't have been that old. Probably oh, that's pretty cute. No, this must be like middle school. <laughs> just don't worry. Okay. About it. We needed to be right. driven. Okay. We needed to be okay. driven, but then I realized that she was there not just as a driver but more as a chaperone. That was right. that was the difference. Okay. Um. So so anyway, you know, like at that age, a lot of people, you know. Know, aren't ready to admit to themselves like they out. yeah they're 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 sort of they're locked into sort of well this is how it's supposed to be and therefore I must probably fit this mold like that I don't know maybe maybe in 2019 this is all sounding very quaint but back in 2002 that was a thing you know that was a thing here and I'm sure in a lot of places it's still very much like that but I don't know that it's necessarily um, quite as big of an issue here anyway yeah, these no, days don't think so um, so yeah. Anyway, I I don't remember how I got how to get on this subject. I have no right. The lidar, lidar, lidar. Uh, lidar. Right. Detecting orientation. Okay. So let's. Why don't we consult the notes so that we maybe stay out somewhat on topic here. So Apple has actually had self-driving car prototypes on the road before. Yes. Now we're not talking Apple cars. Like no. Apple didn't actually build the drivetrain of but the thing. But Project Titan modified cars. Exactly. Where they are, where they are clearly very interested in the technology. I mean, this isn't their first foray into into transportation. Um, you know, Apple Maps, as as bad as it was when it first launched, has come a long way. They're clearly committed to helping people get around, being one of the most important things that our mobile devices can do. And as far as I can tell, Apple transitioned from being a computer company, Apple Computer Inc., to being an Apple iPhone accessory company. So if the latest iPhone accessory happens to be a car that you plug it into, I think that Apple can, <laughs> Apple can get on board with that. Uh, the iPhone is the, is the beating heart of that company right now. So um, anyway, the new setup has no obvious LiDAR devices, could be an all-camera setup. Uh, they recently poached Tesla engineering VP Steve McManus and increased the size of the test team. So um, it seems they are still actively pursuing the project in one form or another, although they yeah. did fire 200 employees assigned to Project Titan back so in January. Who really so even knows? who really knows what's going on over at Apple until they tell us because they have some pretty good non-disclosure agreements as far as I can tell. With that said, I have never had the privilege of reading one because Apple still doesn't reply to my messages. Actually, oh, this is this is great. Let me see if I, I don't know if I have, uh, I don't know if I have the software that I would need to pull this up. Nope, I don't have that installed on this computer. You know what, I'm going to pull a, um, a faux pas ever since we leaked a bunch of financial data. I on was stream. just gonna say it might not be the best software yeah. to use. 
at don't all. Don't worry about it. While screen sharing. Yeah, yeah. No, and no, now I, you're I going got this. back to your personal laptop no, and I, you're going to use it anyways. No, I got this. Um, everything's fine. Okay. So I actually want to share with you um, my chat log with Apple support. When I reached out complaining that they actually don't have a press contact email on their website anymore. Uh, there's just, you can view the newsroom, which is just articles that Apple publishes about itself. Um, but that's it. There, there's no actual, hey, I'm a member of the media and I would like to speak to a human being at Apple iPhone Accessory Inc. Um, and, uh, Maybe it's because you call them Apple iPhone Accessory Inc. Well, I had never done that before today. <laughs> So that's obviously um, nonsense. Maybe it's because you spent seven years talking trash about them. I have not spent seven <laughs> years talking trash about them. I uh, gave the iPhone 6S my phone of the year award. It was a great phone, <laughs> and then they ruined it. Um, <laughs> Case in point! Well, no, I'm just being honest. I'm allowed to have an opinion. So anyway, um, so I reached out to their live chat shrink, because... Shrink that, please. I don't yeah, even yeah, know yeah. what's on there. Just. There we go. Yeah, so are we good? Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, I need a dongle because, you know what, I'm, I'm switching. I'm not going to keep using the Blade Stealth 20 whatever year this came out. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Um, Too many dongles required? So it doesn't have a native HDMI, which I didn't consider while I was doing that video. And more importantly, I didn't notice the short shift. <gasps> it has an arrow key where the shift is, which is basically the worst sin because I am constantly hitting both of them at the same time while I am typing, which causes me to go up with shift, which highlights everything, which I then overwrite. Ah, also, nice. my trackpad seems to be defective. That, well, that's not surprising. So I'm, <laughs> I'm done. I'm done with this. Um, I think uh, Dell actually sponsored a video, but they have a really interesting looking laptop in the mail to me right now. Well, what was the failure rate of I'm our internal blades? I don't know, 40% or something, something like that. Yeah, nice. not, not the point, not the Solid. Point. Oh. Um, one moment, please. Sweet. Then it doesn't work. That well, give it a give it a give it a sec. <laughs> okay, give it a sec. I mean, we're we're in a remote we're in a remote desktop connection relation mode right now here. Um, yeah, why is that not working? That shouldn't matter. Yeah, that shouldn't matter at all. Okay, hold on. Let's just try that again. Do do, do do. <laughs> we can't hear it, so yeah, Linus I, just emulated the sound well, for us. Well, it didn't actually detect anything, <laughs> yeah. I don't think. Would have uh, been great, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I do, I do aim to please. There's So StarCraft II has Try these the side. packs that you can get that <laughs> are, like, side. different people's voices and stuff. So, that, like, you can have, like, uh, a commentator cast your game for you or, like, someone else. I would actually run with, like, a Linus pack in Windows. So like whenever you unplug and plug things, Beep you boom. just go, yeah, yeah. Beep boom. Every time an error message Bam. comes up, it's, Bam. you can't do that, stupid. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I'm going to restart your computer for totally no reason, huh? This <laughs> okay, I would be much nicer about it. <laughs> Okay, it's working now. I couldn't Careful. explain to you why. Yeah, yeah, I got this, I got this. A blue screen is just accompanied by a laugh track. Okay, <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to go to the September 10th iPhone event because I'm going to have to cover it anyway, so yeah. I might as well just watch it from the audience instead of here in the comfort of my own home because I hate myself. So I reached out to them, oh. and I had to. I just had to reach out to, like, genius support for, like, the iPhone. I was like, I don't know, my iPhone won't update or something. <laughs> anyway, so I... Um, right, because you have to give them a reason. Yeah, you have to give a reason. And the reason can't be, I just want to talk to a human being at Apple. <laughs> that is not the reason. Yeah. That, you're, that you, you may not provide that, that reason. Uh, so hold on a second. I'm just going to actually blank this out. Um, I think this has leaked like a hundred times anyway. Yeah, so probably. Whatever. Oh, wait. That's really that, guessable. Yeah, that's really guessable. <laughs> uh... Sure. Sure. You know what? Why don't we just take all the fun out of it? There you go. Um, confirm your Apple ID. Blee blah blee blah blee. Is blee, this blee. like? Are you allowed to well, share private communication? They recorded it, and in Canada, uh, it's single party consent. So yes, I may. In California, it's not. Right, but they consented to it, and so did I, because they said they are recording it. But I don't think they consented to you recording it. I don't. I don't care. Yeah. Um, all right, so 
I mean, if they reach out, that would probably be a good yeah. Maybe we could start method a conversation. of communication, right? All right. So anyway, so so you've got to be kidding me. Okay. <laughs> this is great. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm glad you're having fun. Now OBS yes. is broken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Use the here. Try the stream deck. Sorry. Why is the no, no, no. Nope. So then, yeah, it's just it's just dead. In it the is water. just actually broken, like legit broken. Maybe that's. Hmm. What about your screen? Hey, yours is working. Uh, so I'm the only one who's not working. You, you are taking the ROG phone from me, sir. I will have to unlock that for you. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes. It is now unlocked. Please don't read my emails. I will not. Um, okay. <laughs> Wait, what's going on now? So, Wait. do you want to just email that to me? Holy crap, this is... I, can just... I can't switch back. What's going on? Oh, it's sitting on the page down key. Nice. Dang it, sorry, sorry. Nice. Hold on. Oh, for... Um... Mine worked. Do you want to just email it to me? We can... No, we can... I got this. I got All right, this. sounds good. I can do this. I am logged into my email. Yes! Ah! Why is it like that? This is just... Okay, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll get this. Okay. Um... Wait, what? Why? Officially 20 minutes into the show. <laughs> okay, good enough. Here we go. All right. The, the, the... Okay. Audio Thanks for contacting Apple support. Well, the audio what? The audio version of this podcast will be fantastic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 Thanks for contacting Apple support. My name is whatever my name is. Uh, how can I help you? Hey, Linus. How's it going today? Oh, wait, is that them too? Oh, it was. Great. I'm in the media and wanted to know, how does one go about getting an invite to the September event? I link my YouTube channel. Just to ensure we're on the same page, you would like to receive an invitation to go to the event in September, however you're not sure what the process is and would like to find out. Yeah, that's pretty much what I said. Thank you. There's no obvious media contact on the site, so I ended up coming through here. I'd be more than happy to assist you to see how best we can work together in hopes of guiding you on a path to resolution where this issue you're having is concerned. What even is that sentence? That's amazing. Is it I feel okay? Like you're talking to a knight from it, like... <laughs> I know, right? Is it okay if I ask a few questions? Sure. Please confirm your Apple ID. Yep. Um, I just clarified that I have no idea what Apple ID the phone that I used because I had to provide a serial number for a phone in order to talk to Apple. So I just grabbed one from my desk. It like I, it's not in my daily driver phone. I don't think, even think anything's logged into it. Uh, that's okay. Is it okay if I place you on hold while I consult with my resources to provide you with this information? So about 10 minutes on hold. It's not totally unreasonable. I'm back. I have consulted with my resources. Okay. So you asked someone. Here's a link with the details to attend the function. Here's a big Apple logo. Don't worry about that. Developer.apple.com slash WWDC19, which not only is not Apple's slash September event. Policy. Um, so it does have the policy for how you attend because you can pay to attend to WWDC. Uh, but it's WWDC, yeah. not the September launch event. Yeah. <laughs> Completely different event. Good call. I go, okay, that's WWDC. Is that the wrong link? Also, I am press. I am not a developer. Regarding the invite, the seats are reserved for the press by invite only. Right. That is the point of this conversation. I am the press. I need a contact at Apple. I don't want to be pushy, but it shouldn't be complicated for me to get a media contact. We have more views on our Mac Pro announcement video than you do. <laughs> Apple would be... Cool. That's pretty cool. That's a good flex. <laughs> Apple would be the one to reach out to members of the press with an invite as the function would be for selected members only. Well, it would be hard for them to do that if they don't have my contact information, and I don't have a press relations contact there. Tell you what, I got to run to a meeting. Oh, bloody hell, that's my email. It's fine. It's leaked a thousand times. Are we all set from here? Oh, yeah, this is great. Uh, if they want to get in touch, here's my email. They go, "Is are we all set from here? I just want to know that you're comfortable with the steps I provided. What's well, what steps? <laughs> I wasn't given any steps. I need a media contact. And that was, in fact, the end of that interaction. <laughs> um, she did arrange to have a supervisor call me after. Um, and they informed me. Actually, I don't even remember how that conversation ended. But basically... No, there was not, in fact, anything that they uh, could or would do about it. Um, they said, oh, right, I do remember how it ended. Um, it kind of went around in circles like that. And then I said, tell you what, um, oh, I got an email. Right, I emailed the email. Nope, right, OK. So okay. they said they would, they would see if anyone said cool. And then they gave me an email that I could contact 
Um, and then I emailed that email and I never heard back. <laughs> right, I do remember now, good. So I, I'm hopefully not misrepresenting that's, uh, how the way in which I was ignored. That's a beautiful story. Um, yeah, I thought that was a pretty. I thought that was a pretty heartwarming story too. This bothers me. Um, oh, the fact that this is like a hard edge, and it's brushed. Yeah, it's. I brushed realize plastic. it's. I realize it's plastic. So it's not going to stain at least. I don't yeah. know. Um, anyway, so I'm not going to the September event. Uh, glass I don't remember um, how I got on that subject. Um, we were talking about Apple autonomous vehicles. It doesn't matter. You know what? Nick's been waiting very patiently. What can I do for you, Nick? Um, it's actually nothing to do with the show, and I just need to ask you something off camera. Oh, uh, okay. This mic is aggressively sensitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. BRB. Just like, yeah. I've noticed it pick up trucks outside. Be very careful. <sighs> I don't know what to talk about while they're gone, because I don't know how long they're going to be gone. But probably the next thing we're going to talk about is that there are two folding phones coming in September. Uh, that's probably going to be the next topic. The Fold launched in Korea today, but I believe the they're launching in September thing is more talking about the North American market, or else we would have said that it came out now. Huawei has confirmed the launch date for its next flagship phone line. The Mate 30 series will be unveiled in Munich, Germany on September 19th, so we'll figure that out soon. Maybe it won't be September, but we'll, we'll figure it out soon. Oftentimes, these events have been like, and it's coming! now or something so it, it'll it'll probably be fairly soon samsung is finally ready to unveil their refined galaxy fold after an embarrassing initial rollout earlier this year that was played with multiple damage review units they said in july that the fold would be available in september so theoretically that's now ish which would be cool is everything all good uh yeah cool we're talking about two folding phones launching in september um yeah both of which were supposed to launch ages ago yeah um, yeah, so who knows if they'll even launch now? Well, the Fold launched in Korea already, but then yeah. like, it might unlaunch. Like, <laughs> The curious thing about all of this is that I haven't seen, like, they were treating the Fold as this global launch event, yeah. and press all over the world had review units ahead of time so that there would be coverage, so that people would get hyped about it, so that they would... Um, Which was so suicidal. So that they would be incentivized to go and buy it on launch day. They and must have stuff. known how volatile they were. And now they've just, no, I, I, th I think they just didn't. Well, oh, I think the people making the decision just didn't right. accept it. We've seen something. that a few times. Yeah, we've seen that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this time it seems like they're doing a quiet launch and it is pretty common for um, not just Samsung, I'm trying to think, like other Korean companies have done this before too, to just quietly launch something in Korea yeah. um, where I don't know, I guess their their customers are a little more forgiving if something sucks or the volumes are lower so they can they can control the damage if it Home turf is definitely a, a thing. Disaster, yeah. Yeah. So it seems like they've just done a quiet launch in Korea. Did you already cover the updates to this one? Uh, no, that's where I am. Okay, right cool. There. So they did a quiet launch in Korea, and it um, seems like they've made a few changes. So caps were added to the top and bottom edges of the hinge to seal off the gaps that previously might have allowed dust into the mechanism. The layer that people mistook for a screen protector and peeled off now extends beyond the edges of the screen and tucks under the bezel, so there aren't any bits exposed. And they added layers of metal under the display to strengthen its protection and hopefully make it so you won't be able to feel the machinery beneath the screen when you yeah. poke at it. Uh, with the updates, the Fold also locks into place more rigidly than before, and it's almost completely 180 degrees flat when it's open. Uh, the stronger lock also makes the device less floppy when you're holding the open phone with one hand. I love that they said that, because this whole time I've been hoping that a derogatory term for these phones ends up being floppy phones. Floppy phones. Because it's just great. Flop phone. Flop. That's not bad. A flop phone. Yeah. Flip phone, flop phone. Yeah. Flip flop. <laughs> I like it. Samsung also managed to reduce the gap between the Fold's hinge and body so it isn't as thick when it's closed as it was before. No word on when the rollout will be expanded to the US and internationally. Um, now, we should go through our sponsor bits and then what were those topics that I wanted to talk about? I wanted to talk about how I'm like into VR again and then there yeah. was another thing. I know the VR thing. What was the other one? Ah, maybe someone, maybe someone in chat remembers. Oh, uh, we're doing a video chat. soon. Oh yeah, okay, so we'll talk about that after yeah. we go through our sponsors. Uh, the show today is brought to you by Backblaze. Backblaze is an unlimited cloud backup for Macs and PCs for just six bucks a month. They've restored over 35 billion files in the years they've been operating, and that includes docs, music, photos, videos, drawings, projects, 
all kinds of data. You can restore files from anywhere. They've got an app for iOS and Android. And if you want a, a bigger restore than what you can reasonably download, you can purchase a restore via hard drive and they will overnight FedEx it to you. After you do your restore, you can return the hard drive to them for a refund. Um, they've got no wonky cost structures and you can try it out with their free, fully featured 15 day trial at backblaze.com slash WAN. Start it backing up because when you don't back up, you can potentially have a very, very bad time. We're not yet, but we've been considering potentially, maybe possibly, working with Backblaze as Floatplane. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. It's just been considered. That would be great. It's been tabled. I haven't, like, gone anywhere, but I found it interesting that they're a sponsor. Yeah, FreshBooks. FreshBooks is the super simple to use invoicing tool for freelancers and small business owners or anyone who needs to <clears throat> send super simple invoices. Yeah. Um, it does more than just helping you create invoices though. It helps you track your time with their timesheet function, manage your expenses, keep track of who owes you what, and make sure that you don't miss uh, a follow-up, for example. Like it'll tell you when a client opens your invoice for the first time. Their mobile app has all the functionality of their desktop version, and you can call their support staff and talk to a real human if you're having trouble. Visit freshbooks.com forward slash WAN and enter WAN Show in How Did You Hear About Us when you sign up for your free trial today. It's also brought to you by Pulseway. Pulseway is the real-time remote monitoring and management software that helps you fix problems on the go by sending commands from any mobile device. It's compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux, and their single app gives you remote desktop functionality so that you can, that sentence is cut off, but whatever. It does all kinds of cool stuff. You can get real-time status updates. You can monitor system resources. You can check logged-in users, monitor network performance, uh, handle Windows updates, and more. You can create and deploy custom scripts to automate your IT tasks, and you can scan, install, and update all your systems on the go. Try it for free at Pulseway dot com or through our link in the video description. In the defense of the writing of that, I think if someone's going to use Pulseway, they can probably assume what remote, de what remote desktop functionality could benefit them. Okay, I got a super chat here that I actually want to talk about. This okay. is uh, Quintuple A. Back at oh. CES, you were super hyped about Hisense's double LCD ULED technology. Will you ever review one of their TVs? Um, I don't know how much I can say uh, because I signed an NDA. Um, but I am still, I feel exactly the same way about ULED technology as I did. And when and if Hisense were to ever release any kind of product based around that technological concept, um, I would be super amped to check it out. Especially if they had some like really good ideas for how they could make it better. <laughs> Next topic. Uh, yeah, let's uh, move on. Apple and Google to hand over guns. No, I want to talk about VR. Okay. Yeah, we, we did, we did the title topic. I don't care. Yeah, anymore. we did the title We're topic. Yeah. So, like. It's cool again. It's kind of cool again. Yeah. Um, I'm getting back into it, too. I think taking a break was the right idea. And then now I'm genuinely re excited about things. Because a bunch of really interesting stuff has happened. So, Index is a legit second gen experience. Vive Pro yes. was not. I was no. really upset about Vive Pro because yeah. it was Vive like Pro was lame. everything I didn't ask for and nothing that I did ask for. Okay, one thing I asked for. Okay, the the screen resolution was better. But Vive Pro by by HTC's own admission was Vive but professional. It was not Vive 2. And I wanted an upgrade. Like when did the HTC Vive come out? Let's just check this. Uh, 2014? HTC Vive release date. Like, it was a long friggin' time ago. I don't think it was 2014. It was like 2016. 2016? Why is my interwebs taking so long? Oh, yeah, no. Dang it. That's I'm gonna re-guess at 2015. What? You don't just get to re-guess. Okay, okay, okay. I was thinking of... Besides, uh, you're going to be right if I went over anyway, because Price out? is Right rules. Oh, apparently. All right, that's fine. I can... Oh, wait. Are we still... We're still we are still transmitting from the desktop. Cool. Okay. Well, I don't know how that works. Oh, maybe the Wi-Fi went down again. That's fine. Uh, HTC... I'm on my mobile data. That's fine. I got this. Mobile, HTC Vive release date. Um, oh, man. 2016. You're right. Heck yeah. Wow, I'm awesome. I thought it was so long ago, but I'm thinking, I think, Crystal Cove. 
dev kits went out in August and September of 2015. Um, mm. But like, that's still a long time ago. Yeah. That's like three years ago. So when the Vive Pro came out, like I, I was, I was expecting VR to be like this rapidly iterating technology because around that time, that was in the midst of the mobile display pixel density race, right? Like that was when you know Sony was shipping a 4K phone, and I was like, we're, we're, screens. They're, they're, they're gonna get super dense and, and, and OLED technology. It's gonna be super low persistence and like, it's gonna be it's gonna be flipping awesome. And then it just stopped. In 2017, I guessed five years. For what? For VR to like really be popping. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, they they crossed the one percent threshold for install base in the Steam hardware survey. Not bad. Heck yeah. Uh, yeah. Working on it. Um, and more importantly. Some of the technologies that I did not have a lot of faith in are starting to show promise. So have you tried the Oculus Quest? No, but I've read a lot about it. I haven't tried it myself. And I've talked to a guy that uses it basically all the time. Okay, it's only 72 hertz or whatever. Do you know the picture of the guy and his son standing by their Tesla at a Tesla charging station and they're both playing the Quest? It went trending not that long ago. No, I didn't see that. Oh, I like hung out with him for a while. Okay. He's actually really cool. He actually lives locally. All right. <laughs> but the, yeah, anyways. So the Quest, it's only 72 hertz. It's running on like Snapdragon 835 or whatever. Like it's not even, is it 835? Oculus, Quest, Snap, Dragon, is it 845? It's not 855, that's for sure. Uh, oh, eight, no, 835, yeah, 835. Um, so it's like, it's like ancient technology and mobile, ugh. Um, but depending on the type of game, not everything is a great experience, but depending on the type of game, it is shockingly good. And not having the, the weight of the, uh, and the inconvenience of the tether. The tether, yeah. Like it is so much better than the mobile-based VR experiences that I had had in the Which past. Which is just garbage. That I was blown away. Like, the tracking is so good. And after my experience with, I'm, I'm saying a lot of the things that I'm going to repeat in my upcoming review of the Rift S, as well as the upcoming uh, video of the Quest. I believe it's on Floatplane. I'm sorry? I think it's on Floatplane, right? Uh, the Quest, Rift yes. S. Quest, okay. Rift S, I have not actually shot, but I have fully written. I finished okay. writing it last night. Um, so yeah, there's there's a plug for Floatplane. If you subscribe on Floatplane, yeah. it's like week-ish early access and occasional uh, exclusive content. We're not trying to oversell it. It's a way to support Linus Tech Tips. The Meet the Team videos are pretty cool. Um, so the tracking on it, the, the 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 freedom of being able to like wander around in a gigantic play space uh, compared to what I'm used to. Because I mean, theoretically, on my index. Yeah, I could have like a 15 by 15 play space or whatever the stupid like maximum size is yeah. ridiculous. That With what be... tether? Yeah. With what, what oh, like yeah. powered active display port repeaters every five meter? Like what, it's not even, <laughs> like it's not even a real conversation. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because wireless isn't feasible for it yet. The, the resolution and refresh rate are just too high. It's too much bandwidth until we get another revision of 60, 60 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Um, so it was just kind of surreal. And playing something like Beat Saber, which I always come back to because it's casual enough that it runs on mobile hardware, but it's hardcore enough in that it is like a, a genuinely skill requiring yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, um, Solo competitive. It's, and it's very sensitive to, uh, uh, to errors in tracking for the controllers or for latency issues. I like playing, it, it, it's great. It's great for certain experiences. That's cool. And after my experience with Windows Mixed Reality, right, that's where I was going with that, I had no faith in inside out tracking. Mm. I thought it was dead on arrival. I was like, they will not fix the occlusion issues. Uh, they will not fix the drift. Really? We're done here. I'm so, okay. I was very pessimistic. I wasn't. Okay, well then you were you. smarter than me. Good for you. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I'm just I didn't I haven't heard you say that before. That's why I'm surprised. I thought outside in was always going to be the premium experience. It is though still. But 
Rift S. Have you tried it? Uh, okay, T okay, still no, but there was one at PAX that my brother tried and there was clear and obvious issues with it. Okay, but was that at PAX? No, it was because of the headset. Because okay. there are areas where it doesn't okay. track well. You should come over and try it. Sure. Or just take it home, it's in my office. It has to come back on Monday because I'm shooting that video on Monday. I, there's like no room in my house, there's like no point. Okay, well, the thing about the Rift S though is that it doesn't need room. You just put it on. Yeah, okay. I can, like, there's I mean, no I lighthouses, could, there's I no setup. I could setup. test the, if I, I wonder if I could get them to send me the build of the game, but there's, there's a football game. Okay. And the whole idea, it was, it was sevens football, so it's yeah. passing only and all this kind of stuff. I don't remember the name of it. I'm sorry if you're watching this. Um, but they were at PAX. They're releasing the game relatively soon, I think. But So you're the quarterback. You have to throw yeah. the ball. Okay. And the only way they're able oh, to run it yeah, okay. is because you go here and you couldn't yeah, throw it. That... So the whole time I was like, why did you guys bring this headset? Like, what? this is so dumb. Because you watch everyone play this football game, and they're like, yeah, it tracks properly if you throw the ball properly. We have it modded right now, so you can go beep. I'm like, that's so dumb. Okay. There are games <laughs> that have issues. I will give you that. Yeah. Um, none of the things I play regularly no, require I know. me to what, put my so hand behind my the, head. The only thing I'm saying is you said, Okay. I, I thought uh, the, the other version of tracking would always but be better. I'm I, like, well, yeah. I think that's probably solvable because, because the thing too is that the Rift S and the Quest get a lot of their location data from the accelerometer and, gy uh, and gyroscope in the controller. I don't think it's unsolvable. So it's it's solvable, and then what it's doing is it's using the constellation map uh, from the headset to the controllers yeah. to correct. Yeah. So as long as you are only occluded for a short period of time, theoretically, it should be fine. And in my experience using it in my living room, it was very good. I did get some glitchiness like when I'd first put it on. Um, but then it would kind of settle in and I couldn't, I couldn't tell. In fact, Hollow Ball is a game that I have kind of used as my benchmark for um, tracking. controller tracking. Yeah. Because I, as a badminton player, I tend to, I tend to flick my wrist mm. rather than swing my arm okay. when I'm trying to hit a ball. Yeah. Um, and that game is obviously designed around a tennis swing, uh, an arm swing, because otherwise it is utterly hopeless at tracking where your hand is. It's too fast. <coughs> right. And so, I, like, I can swing right through the ball. I can watch the paddle go through. Like, <laughs> it just doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. Um, and what I found was on the Rift S, I was way more likely to hit the ball. Like, world's more likely. And Oculus claims, or I should say Facebook at this point, their last founding member was out as of, I think, like a couple weeks ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, so Facebook claims that they are updating their location with one millisecond granularity. Now, it's not a perfect update because If you can cameras, see the racket go through the ball, I'm suspecting this is a collision issue and not a tracking issue. Could be. If you see the racket go through the ball. Okay, I should clarify. I see where the racket is. Okay. I see that I followed through, okay. and I see that the ball went through where I was okay. going. So, okay. no. It's not like I see the models. Yeah, 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 no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but so, on the, so, anyway, so it's, every, it's 30 times a second with the camera. So that's where it's checking for drift. Yeah. And then it's apparently, I have no way of validating it, but apparently millisecond granularity from the gyroscope yeah. and accelerometer in controller. Um, and I did find that it was better. That's cool. But they dropped it to 80 hertz. Mm. Yeah. And like, I, you were there. The, the second I put the index on, holy crap. It's so... It's so much better. Intensely noticeable. The, the the resolution, the refresh rate, everything. It's it's amazing. Even, even the the like safe zones. Yeah. I have a really hard problem with headsets where if they're not tilted and not tilted to the exact specification and exactly far enough away, then they look like they look terrible to me. Right. It's probably because my eyes suck, but whatever. And then the index, it didn't really matter. Yeah. I threw it on and while it was coming on, I was like, everything's perfect. And then I sit it down, I'm like, everything's still perfect. But it's a thousand dollars. But yeah, it's a thousand dollars. Anyway, all of this is why I'm really excited about what's happening right now, because we finally have a real upgrade at the high end with yeah. the index. Yeah. Um so and, if a, you're... and a good solid solution that isn't there. Yes. Because um, I've always kind of detested, I remember I made a big part in a video about this a long time ago, um, about how I was kind of annoyed with all these different phone companies and stuff advertising mobile VR. So I was like, now everyone's going to think this is what VR is. Yeah. 
And that was really frustrating. But hopefully we're leaving that era where VR is just good. Um, okay. Uh, hey, someone pointed out in the uh, super chats that uh, the Apple Media helpline is apparently listed on apple.com slash leadership, which has all their executives and their uh, board of directors. Um, yes. That's just help. That's it, not. It is oh, indeed there. Help. Like it's a it's a generic thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I believe that is actually the email address that I was eventually provided. So mm. thank you. Um, that is legitimately quite helpful. I appreciate it. Um, thank you for There's the super chat. Number. Unfortunately, I uh, I doubt. I mean, I, I I I will call it. I'll call it. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll see. <laughs> you should call it now. <laughs> should I? I, I think that would think be great. Open. I think that would be awesome. All right. They're probably closed, but like. Why I not? don't know. I don't know. I mean, you gotta give it a shot. Like forty-seven billion dollars in the bank. Actually, I think it's a lot more than that. I think that's uh, Facebook that has about forty-five billion in the bank right now. I don't remember how much Apple has. I'm sure, they can afford to uh, pay someone to answer important media inquiries late at night. Two hundred and eighty-five point one billion dollars. <laughs> All right. So I'm not going to put them on speaker until I get consent here. Do you want to cover the next uh, news topic? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we could do an Apple topic. Apple and Google to hand over GunScope app user data. So these GunScopes, they could, like, uh, I believe they could be remotely viewed. So you could, like, see through the GunScope on your phone or something like that. And they have some other kind of neat information. Uh, the information that they're potentially passing forward, the U.S. government has... Uh, ordered them to hand over hand over names, phone numbers, and IP addresses of at least 10,000 users of a single GunScope app made by Night Vision Specialist American Technologies Network Corp. I'm assuming they weren't there. Uh, it's just a voicemail where you leave your email address, your message, your name, and your media outlet number, which, media I, outlet which number. I clearly don't have. Nice. Um, and they will get back to you. Alternately, you can email media.help at apple.com. Awesome. So basically, it's effectively emailing them. Yes. Uh, so the, the app specifically allowed them to get a live stream of the scope, take video, like so record the scope, I guess, and calibrate their scope from an Android or iPhone device. It's been downloaded more than 10,000 times on Android. Apple doesn't provide the numbers. ICE, or Immigration and Customs Enforcement, is seeking information as part of a broad investigation into possible breaches of weapons export regulations. So I think the idea is they're trying to figure out where these things are getting registered so they can figure out if they're getting sold somewhere that they shouldn't be being sold. Interesting. If that makes sense. I believe that is the, that is the goal. If Apple and Google decide to hand over the information, it could include data on thousands of people who have nothing to do with the crimes being investigated, um, which could, it says in here, set a dangerous precedent. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Unless there's like some form of, I don't know, this is getting into weird law stuff, but they should, I guess, tell you. Maybe you have to, I don't know, that's really weird. I have no idea. I don't know how American laws work. I'm not going to say anything. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So there are reports online that have claimed that ATN scopes were being used by the Taliban, which would obviously be a bit of a problem. But how could you prove? Because couldn't someone just buy it in America and just ship it somewhere? It's a scope. Is it illegal to ship that somewhere? I have no idea. Maybe it is. Well, there's lots of things that are illegal to ship to. Like, it's actually in the end user license agreement that you can't. OK, so for example, we have um, a thermal camera. Yeah. that we had to sign a very long and detailed document saying that it will be in our possession only and if it is ever not in our position we need to uh, in our possession we need to return it and that we will not use it in any way to aid help abet or whatever um, terrorist activity or any of these industries or whatever else like wow. there is equipment that is tightly regulated like that I could see something like um, Weapon a scope be part of it. Being, yeah, that makes sense. Being the kind of thing that comes with a, 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 a user I was agreement just thinking that says, I will not give it to a terrorist to shoot people. If something is being used somewhere, it's hard to say that the company that sells it is at fault. Like, what wasn't the wasn't ISIS driving a whole fleet of Toyota trucks? I don't, I don't remember. Like, is that Toyota's fault? I don't think so. I don't know. It depends. If it Toyota depend, sent a sales though. rep over there yeah. to be like, hey, want a deal? Want a, want a bunch of trucks? I, I just, I don't know. I, this is way beyond me, but I think it's a little funky. Um, be like, hey, some people are using it. That means you did illegal things. 
Oh well. Paying with your hand? Yeah, paying with your hand at Whole Foods. So Amazon is testing a payment system codenamed Orville. <laughs> that scans, I mean, just, just, I mean, isn't that just spookily close to Orwell? Yeah. Like, I, <laughs> yeah. Is that where you that went with it? That was a bad idea. Okay. I did too. It yeah. scans human hands to ring up their purchases. <laughs> They're reportedly using their New York employees as guinea pigs by installing the system on a handful of, that's a joke, handful, uh -huh. of vending machines selling chips, sodas, and phone chargers in their offices. Unlike most biometric systems that require you to touch the surface of a scanner, Amazon's take on the technology doesn't need you to physically touch anything. They use computer vision and depth geometry to identify the size and shape of your hand before charging the credit card you have on file. Wow. Furthermore, you don't even need to have your phone with you when you shop. So this could make shopping at Whole Foods even more seamless than at Amazon Go stores. You need to be a Prime member for hand-based payments to work. Um, it's possible they decided to give c customers the option to pay with their hands instead of their face because it would feel less like a mugshot. And now they can recommend you the perfect size gloves. <laughs> possibly even figure out basic nutritional and health data so they can yeah. recommend you different drugs and uh, nutritional supplements. And what kind of condoms you need. And, uh, <laughs> Not that it's proportional. Uh, Amazon is reportedly hoping to roll the technology out to a handful of Whole Foods stores by the beginning of next year with no specific locations in mind. And they're refining it so they can bump the accuracy up from within one ten thousandth of an inch. Uh, or sorry, one ten thousandth of one percent to a millionth of one percent before launch. That is incredible. That's pretty nuts. All right then, that's pretty much it for the WAN show. Yeah. Appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll see you again next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. Bye. Dang. Oh wait. Ah, ba -da, ba -da, super, chats. super chats. Can James do another laptop replacement style video of the Samsung Tab S6 like he did for the iPad Pro? Did James do that? I thought Riley wrote our iPad Pro video. Either way, uh, we thought about it. We just really didn't care. Um, I don't know how to. I don't know how to say that more kindly. Um, Three Nine says, "What does this button do? It gives us money. Thanks." Uh, DBB Blaine, I'll give you twenty dollars more to eat an entire bag of jerky on air. Hold on a second. Are you gonna do it? Well, only if there's... Uh, That's a lot of jerky, Only dude. if there's flavors I really like. Okay. Oh, there's no jerky on hand. Oh, wait, is there jerky over there? One moment, please. They didn't sponsor this show. I know, that's fine, I don't care. Oh, wow, there's a lot of jerky here. If there's maple buffalo bacon, I will eat the whole thing in one handful. Have you seen the... Wow. Yeah, I'm doing it. Is that maple... Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, how so many? How up? many... Yeah. How, how, like, what's the nutritional information on an entire bag of jerky? Um, here we go. Per serving size, okay, servings per container, two. So this will be 16% of my da daily total fat, um, That's 10 grams. Not as bad as I thought. Uh, 3% of my daily, or 6% of my cholesterol. A whopping 70% of my daily sodium intake. There we go. <laughs> 10 grams of carbohydrate, including, uh, oh, that's 10 grams of sugars and five grams of protein. That could be a lot worse. Yeah. I mean, that's sort of the idea behind Savage Jerky. Not that I have to do their talking points because they didn't sponsor the show today, but like. Yep, that's true. It's not that bad. Yeah. Um, all right, this is going to be a little messy because this one's kind of like oily. A broken TV. Oh, so wow. You're going to do that in one in one shot. I am not sure if I had completely <laughs> thought this through. That is a lot of bacon. Um, oh, man. A broken TV says. Can have I do you one seen serving? The... There's two servings per bag. Can I just do half of it? I think I think there's like a level of challenge or disgusting, and you got to figure out where on that makes the most sense. He's doing the whole thing. Nope, he's doing one serving. He did two well, thirds of the package, I would say. Okay, that was some... that was a huge amount. That was the lion's share of the of the bacon all at once. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing super chats. Uh, a broken TV, have you seen the Microsoft musical their interns made? No. That sounds interesting. Uh, the usual gaming PC, uh, the one piece, uh, uh, why are large ATX cases still the standard? I think, in my opinion, being able to mess around with things is cool and nice, and people don't want to have to limit th themselves, and if they have the space for that tower, then 
whatever because the cases don't really cost much more the hardware doesn't really cost much more if anything in a lot of cases possibly cheaper because they're more common um, also using your old case is a thing that I suspect quite a few people actually do um, especially having gone to quite a few lands now it's like wow yeah that's from uh, that's from the early 2000s yeah exactly <laughs> and it has modern hardware in it cool I'm still planning to review the Chevy Volt um, as for the regular like trade-ins and doing car review videos obviously I like didn't get around to that yeah. um, I still kind of want to do it you can still you could do like a car review every year that's not a bad approach I spent a year with the Chevy Volt yeah these are my thoughts. I mean, I have a lot of thoughts about the Volt. I've basically written out everything I have to say, and then I was putting it off until the summer because I wanted the weather to be good while we shot, and now the summer's gone. Um, so maybe I'll do it next year. <laughs> I mean, I have such a great title for the video that it's going to perform super well regardless of how like outdated the Volt and how discontinued it is at that point. So Right. Uh, why did we start uploading complete videos on Facebook? Um, Facebook turned on monetization for us, so we stop, stopped ignoring them. Cool. Um, video suggestion, make a Skull Trail follow-up with the EVGA SR2. I would love to do that. Um, you know, Isn't the, that kind of old now? The, the dual socket board for gamers! Um, I forget, I thought the SRX was after the SR2 though. Cody says, I work in Labrador. We have wow. 24 megabytes in town and one meg in the country. Oh, oh, megabit, I guess. Um, no cell service. Hard to watch your videos at 2 a.m. when no one's online. Oh, had, had to. to. Lol, thank you for the dedication. Nice. Um, in need of a new backpack because mine got stolen. I'm going to order an LTT backpack because it has everything I need. We don't have a backpack yeah, yet. Yeah, what? Speaking of um, Linus Tech Tips merch, though, we, are, we finally have the Stealth hoodie back in stock. Also Ram shirts. Yeah, so the, the hoodie that I'm... Oh, uh, one moment, please. <laughs> That's better. Uh, so yeah, the hoodie I'm wearing is finally back in stock. It's been out of stock for a few weeks now, I think. Um, and then the Ram shirt has actually been super popular. Um, underwear is doing really well. Actually, the store's been doing awesome. Um, Nick and Lloyd are doing a great job. Massive thanks to all of our models who help us... Uh, <laughs> Like, make these things look good and appealing, oh, yeah. and yeah. also our other models. <laughs> well, they're there on the site. Uh, this is such a great picture of Alex. I love it. It is, actually. The Swack It. Yeah. Um, swack It's, like, out of stock of everything but extra and extra, extra large. It's freaking ridiculous. You guys have been giving us an incredible amount of support. Uh, we have new colors of water bottles coming, I think, in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Constellation's still doing really well. Elemental. Constellation and Elemental. CPU are going to be hard to dethrone for me. You think so? Yeah, I, I, I really actually like am those. partial to hard drive. Hard drive's really good. Hard drive's really, really I'll, good. I, I like that for people who aren't into computers, they're like, oh yeah, it's like a record. Uh, and I'm like, sure. Yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. Yeah. <laughs> whatever makes you happy. That's funny. Um, <laughs> Apple, no answer, Linus. Karma's a bitch. All right, fair enough. Tommy again, me again, my reminder to you that you promised to bring back Channel Super Fun. Okay, we're working on it. Yeah. They even didn't say when. It we could actually, be like 2030. I did say when. Um, did you? Yeah, I said like sometime in the next couple months. Oh. So we booked a shoot date today. No, we didn't book it like for today, but we booked it today for later. Mm. We're both beautiful. <laughs> uh, Plantation says read his emails. No, no, he didn't read my emails because he's a good person. Oh, get wrecked. Um, Christian says, Luke, I expect my purple Sharpie back next year at LTX 2020. I think I have it. <laughs> so, maybe. Kiyuler says something ninja says, here's my Google Opinion Rewards money. Maybe this helps. What is Google Opinion Rewards? I think it's like, um, when you like rate stores and stuff. Really? Yeah. You get money for that? I think you have to sign up for the program. And then I think if you do enough of it, you probably get something. So that's probably like all he's ever made on it. Huh. That's my assumption. I really don't know. And it probably it probably only gives you money within the Google ecosystem. Jerry says, YouTube bad, float plane good. Yeah. Still YouTube's using my PC you helped fine. me build in 2015 with a 6600K and 964 gig. Keep doing what you do. Nice. Sweet. I would call iCarly. You guys are friends with her. It might be your best bet. I think you mean iJustine. Yeah. 
Carly, that's a good I one. I think iCarly's like a Disney Channel thing. I could. Um, so a little bit of inside baseball for you guys. It's actually considered, and this is like unspoken, but it's considered um, bad manners to reach out to other members of the media and ask for hookups unless you have exhausted all other options. And as far as I'm concerned, by the time I have reached out to Apple Media Support and said, hey, I'd love to start a conversation, and they have clearly opted not to follow that up with me, I have basically, um, I have got an answer, even if it was an answer that yeah. I didn't like. Yeah. And so to put someone else, like Justine, um, or you know Jonathan Morrison, or Austin, or whoever. Into put, a potentially bad situation. Yeah, to put one of them in a position where they have to put their neck on the line for, to ask someone else to put their neck on the line to overturn a decision that has clearly already been made. It's like, it's not unheard of, it's something I have done, but it's like a pretty, it's a bigger favor than you guys might necessarily yeah. think. Because there's a finite number of seats at these events. There's a finite number of review samples and there's a finite amount of time. And company reps, they have to manage all of those things. And so for every, for every exception that gets made, someone gets kicked out of a seat, off a review sample list, or out of getting a reply in the inbox, if that kind of makes sense to you guys. So we try to be, we try to be diplomatic about the way that we engage with companies. If they want to engage with us, that's great. And if they don't, then as far as we're concerned, you know, I'll reach out once every three years or so and be like, hey, um, has the Yahoo who decided they think we're not worth talking to quit or been fired yet? No? Okay, then I guess we'll wait. It's <laughs> a good way of putting it. I like that. Um, Aerotech says, have you guys ever considered an Unraid build config guide? I think you guys could do better than the other guys in YouTube. Um, no, actually, I hadn't thought of doing that uh, lately. It's just, it's kind of dry. Yeah. Trent says, "School Apple sucks. I tried to purchase iPads for a school I work for and couldn't get anyone at Apple to give me a quote. But this says schools only can buy from Apple. I don't really understand what? that message. Thanks, Everett. Thanks, Kyle. Yes, we're hiring. Just go to our website. If you can't figure out where the positions are listed on our website, then you're probably not the right candidate. Um, all right. Milk or fish, last question. Um, why does LTT store charge in USD instead of CAD? Because most of our viewers are US. And also, the USD is worth more. I and think it's it, more consistent and just People internationally standard, understand it better. It's a standard internationally. It's just, it makes a lot more sense. Everyone knows their own currency in USD because so much so much of product pricing, be it games or computer hardware or whatever. It's at least initially based on that. It's based on USD and then converted, although that's become less true over the last like five to 10 years. Um, like it used to be that European pricing was sort of based on USD pricing. Mm -hmm. Now it's based on it, but it's just like one-to-one -one <laughs> because I don't know, F anyone who pays in pounds or the Euro. Yeah. Argoff? Kind of brutal. All right. Oh, 32 Bytes says you get money to use on the Google Play Store for taking surveys. Um, mostly if you've been to a local store, you get about 10 to 20 cents each. That's not bad. That's surprisingly not bad. I've got 100 bucks. Wow. If you're playing Classic WoW, join Fairbanks Horde. Join the guild. Come hang out. All right. See you guys. Bye.